If you wanted to uncover the secrets of the universe for yourself, all you'd have to do is interrogate the universe until it revealed the answers in a way you could comprehend them. When any two quanta of energy interact, irrespective of their properties, including whether they're particles or antiparticles, massive or massless, fermions or bosons, etc. The result of that interaction has the potential to inform you about the underlying laws and rules that the system has to obey. If we knew all the possible outcomes of any interaction, including what their relative probabilities were, then and only then would we claim to have some understanding of what was going on. Being quantitative in precisely this fashion, asking not only, what happens, but also, by how much, and, how often, is what makes physics the robust science that it is. Quite surprisingly, everything that we know about the universe can, in some way, be traced back to the most humble of all the entities we know of, an atom. An atom remains the smallest unit of matter we know of that still retains the unique characteristics and properties that apply to the macroscopic world, including the physical and chemical properties of matter. And yet, an atom is a fundamentally quantum entity, with its own energy levels, properties, and conservation laws. Moreover, even the humble atom couples to all four of the known fundamental forces. In a very real way, all of physics is on display, even inside a single atom. Here's what they can tell us about the universe. From macroscopic scales down to subatomic ones, the sizes of the fundamental particles play only a small role in determining the sizes of composite structures. Whether the building blocks are truly fundamental and or point-like particles is still not known, but we do understand the universe from large, cosmic scales down to tiny, subatomic ones. The scale of quarks and gluons is the limit to how far we've ever probed nature. On Earth, around 90 natural elements exist, leftovers from cosmic processes. An element is basically an atom with a nucleus made of protons and possibly neutrons. Electrons orbit this nucleus, equal in number to protons. Elements have unique traits like hardness, color, melting points, and more. The key defining factor is the number of protons. Atoms are amazing. Their properties depend on protons. Because of quantum rules, electrons orbit nuclei. It's true to say everything, in some way, is made of atoms. Every atom has a special number of protons in its center. These atoms can stick together in different ways to create lots of things like molecules, salts, and more. This happens because tiny bits inside atoms push and pull each other. Even though atoms are really small, they're heavy because of what's inside. The more protons and neutrons, the heavier. And even though they're tiny, atoms have a big pull called gravity. Things with energy, like the energy that makes them heavy, bend space according to Einstein's ideas. It doesn't matter how small or far apart atoms are. Their pull follows the rules of Einstein's thinking. Whether it's in a star with lots of atoms or just a single atom like helium. Atoms are built from different charged bits. Protons are positively charged. Neutrons have no charge and electrons have a negative charge that's opposite to protons. Protons and neutrons are packed together in a tiny nucleus, about a femtometer wide. Meanwhile, electrons whirl around in a cloud much bigger, around 100,000 times larger, like 10 10 meters. Each electron has its own energy level, and they can only hop between certain energy states, not others. But those rules only count when atoms are alone, not connected. When atoms get near each other, they can play together. On a small level, their behaviors mix, letting atoms stick as molecules, ions, or salts. These groups have special shapes because of their electron clouds. They also have unique energy levels, absorbing and sending out particles of light only at certain colors. No matter where you are in the universe, atoms and molecules follow these same rules. The laws of classical and quantum electrodynamics. These rules guide all charged particles everywhere. Even inside the atomic nucleus, made of charged quarks and neutral gluons, the electromagnetic forces between these charged bits are really important. This structure explains why a proton's magnetic power is nearly three times an electron's, but opposite, and a neutron's power is about twice as big as an electron's, and same direction. These ideas about atoms and their behavior apply to us humans too. Just like everything else, our bodies are made of atoms, and they follow the same rules. 
The way atoms connect and interact influences how our bodies work. So, understanding atoms helps us understand ourselves and the world around us. The electric force can reach really far, just like gravity. But here's the twist. Atoms are mostly neutral in charge. This is key to understanding how our universe works. The electric force is super strong. For example, two protons push each other away about 10 to the power of 36 times more than gravity pulls them together. A simple and fun example is rubbing a balloon on your shirt and sticking it to your hair or a wall. This happens because moving a few electrons creates an electric charge stronger than gravity. Even objects that seem neutral can have electric forces that beat gravity, like van der Waals forces. These forces work over short distances. Any particle in the universe, even new ones we haven't found yet, will interact with atoms if it interacts with these four forces. We found many particles, like neutrinos, by seeing how they interact with atoms. It's our best way to understand matter, even though it's what we're made of too. This amazing fact about the universe inside an atom goes beyond what humans discovered about the tiniest parts of space. Thanks for watching. Feel free to share your insights in the comments below.